It's popping in my mouth. How are you a full-blown chef? And you say, oh, I don't do pastry. If some four-year-old girl asks you to do cookies, you're gonna say you can't do it. You are a chef. So I love cheesecakes. I was gonna make a butterscotch from white wine. Then I changed my mind and I come across rosé. I was like, ooh, rosé. I decided to make a rosé butterscotch. I grabbed the first one I found. It's, it's the outside of a can. Judge somebody else, don't judge me. Rosé, I got some sugar here. So now we have the rosé cooked down in a syrup. I'm gonna use a splash of heavy cream. So there's a knob of butter inside. So salt is a flavor enhancer. So by me doing this, it'll taste the rosé better, the, the butter and the heavy cream. And that's gonna be the sauce. This is strawberries that's been hanging out with some sugar for like 15 to 20 minutes. Season it, don't kill nobody. This ain't gonna kill nobody. Originally, I was gonna take honey made graham crackers, crunch them all up. They made it already crumbly. So I'm gonna add brown butter to this. And I'm gonna put this in the oven, nice and toasted. Early this morning when I woke up out of bed, I took the heavy cream and I whipped it up. Cream cheese concoction, if you will. I don't have time to be baking, I got things to do. So these are the strawberries stewed down. I used to add mint to this or basil. There's that. The crust that would be on the bottom, put that on top of that like this. This is the rosé butterscotch from earlier. Just a little drizzle like this. If you're trying to win an account, a woman over a mate, this is how you go about it. I'm very close to my farmers and purveyors. Here's some local strawberry pop rocks. And here we go. If you want the whole recipe, please get at me. This is what I do right here.